Hello, I'm showing you um, a couple of things I bought for a Hacktosh I'm going to be doing. This is going to be a four-part video. Um, the first part, I'm going to talk about the components I bought. Now you can see that there's not a full computer right here. That's because I'm upgrading an old computer I have. I have an old compact case and an old power supply um, and also an old optical drive that I'm going to use with this new processor, RAM, and motherboard. And so... Um, this motherboard is the Gigabit H67M D2B3. So it is the H67 chipset for the new Sandy Bridge processors. Um, and with the H67, uh, instead of the, uh, what is it, the... G68. Oh, or, yeah, the or G68 and uh, P67, I think? Yeah, P67. With the P67, you can't use... Um, the, like the Intel 2500K's built-in um, Intel HD 3000, but with the H67, you can use the um, CPU or the GPU on the die that is on this motherboard or this sorry this processor, and so that's nice because we're not we're not going to be using a graphics card, we're just going to be using the um, GPU on this die, um, and you can only get that with the Z68 and the H67. And now with the H67, you cannot overclock the processor but you can overclock the GPU so you can overclock the HD3000 graphics on the die itself uh, but you cannot overclock the processor but that's not a big deal because this has already come stock at 3.3 gigahertz and it can turbo boost itself to 3.7 so that's um, completely fast enough and the RAM we have right here is some Kingston it's a one one four gigabyte stick of DDR3 1333 megahertz SD RAM so, uh, decently fast RAM, it's got this nice blue finish to it, looks pretty good. And the reason I went with this Gigabit motherboard from other H67 motherboards is because with this motherboard I can use a thing called Cakewalk, which is a special bootloader for these kind of motherboards. It has its own pre-edited DST and things like that. So, um, this motherboard, I, I select this exact motherboard right here in the software and the install goes real quick, or it should. Um, that will be another part of this video showing you how the install goes with Cakewalk. And I'm going to be going straight to um, Lion. I'm going to skip Snow Leopard because with Cakewalk it allows you to do that, and we'll see how that works. So that's enough for the talking about the components. Um, so we'll first uh, unbox this motherboard. So now we're going to unbox this H67 D2B3 uh, Gigabit. 1155 motherboard. Um, this tab just flips open right here. This was $88 on Amazon. So it's telling you that this is only for the 1155 socket and not the 1156. 1155 being the new Sandy Bridge. Here is the CPU backplate, or not backplate, the I.O. controller board, or whatever you want to call it. You have the user's manual right here talks about things like SATA ports and whatnot. We have the multilingual installation guidebook. We have the here is two SATA 6 gigabit uh, cables and there should come with two more. I'm sorry, uh, this it, this motherboard only comes with two SATAs. I was thinking about a different motherboard. So this motherboard comes with two uh, SATA 6 or SATA 3 cable, or cable, yeah. It comes with those. And we will take this puppy out of here. And then that is it for inside this box. Actually, let's close this. this on top of it. Okay, so the motherboard, um, I took it out of the uh, wrapping it is in, the anti-static wrapping, and as you'll see, now we're looking at the back of the motherboard, so we have the three-channel audio, uh, yeah, I believe it's three channels. Um, we have two USB 2.0 right here, a gigabit 10, 100, 1000, one, two, three, four, five, six more USB 2.0 ports. DVI and a VGA for using the onboard video from the CPU. And we have the PC2 uh, 
mouse and keyboard. Okay, so now we're looking at one of the sides of the motherboard. And so right here you have your things for your onboard USB. So this is for your, if your case has um, the front panel USB ports, you just plug it into here. So it has one, two, and three. And this one right here is a USB 3. So I believe it supports USB 3.0, or maybe that's just USB header 3. Um, I believe that's what it is. And the color indicates the different SATA controllers working to control these. Um, so this white one is using a different controller than these two blue ones. Okay, so this isn't USB 3.0, my bad. This is These are all just USB 2.0 headers. Um, and then we have over here the F panel for your things like your power button and your hard drive lights and all the things that your case will plug into here. Um, some cases don't support all these pins right here and some do. Depends on your case. Um, here you have your audio for your audio from your case and other ports just like that. Um, now over here you have your SATA ports. Now these two right here are SATA 6 gigabit per second and these four right here are SATA 3 gigabit per second. And as you see, these two use different SATA controllers, since these are blue and these are white. Um, we have the two PCI Express 2.0 um, times 16. I believe this one runs at times 8, and this bus runs at times 16. They don't. They don't both run at times 16. I don't think. Um, I'll make. I'll make sure and put it in the description so that you know. And then we have two PCI Express times one, or yeah, times one. Um, so it's got a total of four expansion slots. So on this side of the motherboard we have your 24 pin ATX power uh, plug. So you can plug your power supply into there. And then we have the two RAM sticks or slots as you could say. And these are DDR3 1333 slots as the kind of RAM it supports. As you can see there is a CPU holder itself. Okay so that's about it. Um, the only other port we have left is the four pin right here. Um, that's also for more power. If you have it, you might as well plug it in. Um, and as far as the fan, or you know, to plug in your fan, I see one right here and another right there. I only see two so far, but uh, or maybe a third right there. There might be a total of three. Um, I'll look in the user manual and make sure. But I could always buy a fan controller if I needed more fans. So that's it for a look at the Gigabit H7M D2B3 uh, Micro ATX motherboard. Now we're going to take a look at the processor. Okay, so now we're going to be taking a look at the processor I chose and this processor is the Intel LGA 1155, that is its socket type, and it is a 2500K, it is the Core i5 series. Um, this is a quad-core processor and it is a unlocked processor, so it means that if you had something like a uh, Z68 motherboard, you could unlock this processor, or a P67. Um, either one of those motherboards means mean you could uh, overclock this processor very easily, and if you had a water cooler, this processor could easily push 5 gigahertz, depending on the water cooler or air cooler you have. I'm going to leave it at the stock 3.3 gigahertz because it's uh, fast enough for what I do and it should stay cool with those temps and using only the built-in air cooler. So we'll begin to take this out of the box. Now I will say that uh, this processor unlike the 2600K, its big brother, um, doesn't support hyper threading so that these the, 20, the i5 and the i7 are both quad-core processors but under Mac OS X, if you were using something like iStep menus, you would see eight actual processor little icons if you're using the Core i7 because it has hyper-threading with four virtual cores. This has four physical cores and no hyper-threading, so under iStep menus with this processor, you're only going to see four processor icons because that's all the motherboard can read. And so we'll begin to take this out of here. Looks like I need to get some scissors. Okay, got some cutting utensils. And we'll just... Okay. That's cut. We'll let this open right here. 
This should just be real simple. There should only be an air cooler in here and the processor itself. Be real careful with this. Now, and the last thing inside of here. Okay, everything's out. And we'll sit it down. So, here is the air cooler it comes with. As you can see, it already has some thermal paste on the, the bottom of it, so you don't need to do that. Um, looks like a small 80 millimeter fan, but it should do well or good enough for uh, the cooling I need. Um, so just, you know, simple. Comes with been coming with Intel processors for a long time. Nothing fancy. Now here's the good stuff. Here's the Core i5-2500K quad-core processor. And uh, so, you know, it looks like just like any other processor. Nothing special, but this is a very fast processor. Especially for its price. I mean, this this uh, CPU compared to other CPUs is very good for its price point, and that's why I picked this one. And because this one is uh, very easily hack attachable, and the Intel H3 3000 is nice, and, and everything is just on the die already, so it's a very good deal. And the new built-in memory controller for the Sandy Bridges is nice also, because that allows for um, a smaller motherboard configuration, so they can add more things like more PRAM slots, and um, uh, it allows for a more precise configuration of the uh, SATA controllers and all what they do. Stuff like that. You can read up more on it if you want to. I can't tell you too much about it. But I can tell you that the um, controller is on the die now as well as the GPU and of course the CPU. So that's it for the unboxing of the 2500K. And in this same part I will just show you the RAM. Um, Got to take off this warranty sticker or whatever it is, not quite sure. Maybe just packaging. And that's off. And that's open. So, here's the RAM itself. This is, like I said, DDR3, 1333 MHz SD RAM. 240 pin. Um, should get the job done. I will be upgrading to 8 gigabytes soon. And um, or 16 and two SSDs. So uh, we'll see how that goes. It, two SSDs should be very fast. Um, I'll do a video on the performance of the SSDs when I get them, and just show you how much of a speed uh, boost you get from having two rated SSDs than a standard uh, or a t t traditional spinning hard drive. So. That's it. Now the next part will be putting the computer together and getting Hackintosh installed or Lion. So we'll see how it goes. Thank you.